Somehow the heroes had breached Somehow the heroes had beached the big blooper and crossed the tile pool. But before they could dry, they saw the imposing silhouette of Fort Francis. It sure is getting dark, he said in a quiet voice. But when they looked up, they realized they were in the shadow of a huge tree. Mario knowing in his gut this must be the way, set out toward Mario knowing in his gut this must be the way, set out towards the great tree. I don't know why I put so much emphasis on the word way there. Chapter 3-3 up, up, and a tree. We still on 1 HP? Yep, we're still on 1 HP. Any attack is going to kill us. Hey Mario, can you, uh, can you check something for us real quick? Huh. That thing's gonna come in useful later, just so everyone knows. You will be seeing a lot of that one, like that little house later. They appear later in the game, but they're they're quite a ways off. I still only have one HP. It doesn't really matter to me. Close there, eh? Oh, back down to the ground we go. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We're on one HP. Do I have anything? Do I have anything? That's not gonna help any, unless I just take one damage. Any damage I take is going to kill me. This is going to be a critical level. Okay, go up here. Go here. I don't know how to get away from this place. I don't know how to start on this place or what. Though that is going to get quite annoying hearing that sound for the next hour. I'm about to do a return pipe and just go get some health. Oh, I know what to do now. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's get this finished with because I'm going to have to. Now this area is supposed to be about uh, the wind. So you think I would have thought about that. Ooh. Okay.
Oh, thank you. Apparently that it does nothing. Okay, get up the tree however you have to. Oh, thank you. Now we're gonna save it just for a second. This door is covered in dried bark. It's still shut. Oh wait, I can't use the uh, the stupid power. Um. There we go. No longer covered in dried bark anymore. Solved the problem. Got that one solved. A lot of Mario pu puzzles aren't really um, hard, per se. They're just time-consuming, and you have to think about it like a normal problem. This thing's covered with this. What do you burn it with? What do you get rid of it with? I'm gonna kill that before it's actually a nuisance to us, because it will be a nuisance later in the game. Later in this one little area. Oh god, amazy daisies. They're coming. We're going to save the game here. And we're going to turn the world world to red. Because that's the next color we need. I hate Amazing Daisies. They're the most annoying things ever. Oh, okay. Remember how I said those things were going to be annoying later in the game? Well, there they are, being annoying. It's about to make us fall asleep. Yep. Okay, there's our save point. It goes pretty far, so we're good right now. We have a checkpoint for now. Hopefully it lasts a bit longer than now. Does it get low enough for us to jump onto? No. Okay, do this. Gotta have the pink back. This level design, not so bad. Uh, Nintendo knows what they're doing with level design. Nintendo are almost the masters of level design, at least when it comes to puzzle complexes and all that kind of stuff. They know what they're doing, it's just, it's, you gotta think about their puzzles. I just jumped right off it, didn't I? Come on. I distracted myself talking right there. Whoops. So yeah, Nintendo knows what they're doing with level design, that's not the problem they're having. Which is why I kinda think they, uh... Yeah, I think that's why um, Super Paper Mario was a thing. They wanted other people to appreciate their level design and their mastery of it. 
Now we wait for this one to come back. We could have reached it when it was way over on the other side. Okay, here's this pipe. Gonna take it to get out of here. Oh, that's fun. Need Slim. Concentration. Damn it, it brings me all the way back. Okay, cool. I was thin. A little bit at a time. Go, go, go. Okay. I need some daisy tears. <laughs> I killed the daisy and it gave me its tears. Boomer. Whatever, it'll work. I still have 4 HP. Bomb the switch again. This is gonna not be fun. Let's go down this pipe. Figure out what's over here now. Okay. Great. Small box. I need to get the lightning first. Get the box. I got a peach number two card. Cool. Needed health. Needed health more than I needed anything else. But no, that's cool. That's totally a cool, whatever. Not that it matters or anything. Let's go up the tree some more. Go in this hole, let's find out what this pipe leads to. What if this will work? Hey, what do you know it works? Let's go down to 3 HP. Whatever, you know, it's cool.
Let's go down to 2 HP, you know, whatever, it's cool. Not like we're almost dead or anything, but you know, whatever, cool. Everything's agreeable. Um, Mario. Let's go with Dudley. Thank God. Oh, is this some kind of joke to you? Cool. Whatever. We'll just go to the beginning of the level and just go through the one pipe at the beginning of the level that brings us to that place. No open door or anything. Just jump down the level. See how you feel about it. Ugh. Go up. Come on. We're at full HP, we no longer have to hear the do 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 sound. And to the door. I know we're pretty close to the level, but I just don't remember where. Ah ha ha, finally you arrive. Boss battle time. You don't wear tardiness well. At last, the hero, I know you from the festival of hair that dances upon your lip. I am a humble servant of Count Black. Master of Dimensions, Phaser, Pleaser of Crowds, I am Dimensio. It is truly enchanting to finally meet my hapless victims. I have prepared a special morsel of a treat for you. How about some magic? And Viola. Voila, and voila, I don't know why I said viola, and voila, you are now in dimension D, a dimension of my own creation. In this mind-bending realm, my attacks are 256 times more potent. I am now far more powerful, I could obliterate you with a raise of an eyebrow. Now we must duel, like two gleaming banjos on a moonlit stoop. Of course you do it around me. Can you pierce this illusion? Can I just get Slim out real quick? That wasn't that hard of a battle. Come on. Your blows are like miniature jackhammers wielded by tiny, angry word work road workers. How is this possible? This dimension makes me 256 times more powerful. What? You say that this place also makes you more powerful? <laughs> Of course, this was simply an amusement that I played out exactly as I planned. Were you amused? That was just hors d'oeuvre. The next time we meet, you will feast on a deadly eight-course meal. Ciao for now, my mustachioed foe. Hmm. Well, that was something. Hmm, a little more perhaps. They are strong, but they must be stronger yet to defeat Black. I must make sure they can face him when the time comes around at last. Okay. 
back to the story, I guess. We've got spiky beetles going everywhere. Got someone throwing spiky beetles. Sounds like a lucky two. Who's way up there. Yeah, there's a lackey to someplace way up there. I see him. Okay. I am not a fan of falling on beetles. God forbid. Dad. I'm getting sick of falling on these. Cool. We just solved the mystery of the red wind. And... Well, didn't expect that. We're at 4 HP. That one seems like it's going faster. Lucky two, can you not? I like how we defeated him at the last moment, jumped on a red wind, and jumped back. Okay. That's a coin block. Why not? Let's just get it. Excellent. We did it. Guess what time it is, guys? End of chapter. Yes, let's save our progress. And I think that's where we're going to call this little session. Um, actually, I gotta go take a break. I'm not gonna call the session. I'm just gonna take a break for a second. So uh, I'll be back in a second. So uh, and see you then. Yeah.